All right guys, so I'm bored. I just wanna make another tutorial. And this one's gonna be about whistles. Like, uh, I'm just going over sounds that I use a lot and that I, I enjoy using. So the first one, of course, was about zippers. Like, I just love doing them. <laughs> Yeah, man. <laughs> like I have a, I have a beat like centered just around zippers. I'm not copying Dill up. Uh, so this one, of course, is about whistles, as you see in the title. So, I'm gonna just show you a couple of mine. The ones that I'm gonna be teaching you are um, the outward tooth whistle. I might teach you to scratch. Uh, and that, that's the inward tooth whistle. And uh, the uh, really loud one. And last but not least, the crickets. So for the first one, that is what you need to learn is like sort of a hi hat, like. elongate your hi-hat sound to like tss. And what you need to do is since that tss is going like sending air out just through your teeth uh, you need to move your like bottom lip uh, you don't move your top lip you don't even move your jaw really I mean you want to keep it like like sort of closed like in kind of sort of, um, I don't even know, like, protrude it? I don't think that's the word. But, uh, like, bring it out. <laughs> and so you could curve your bottom lip in. So. And, like, it takes a while to get used to. An easier, I think an easier way that I learned it, like, try to control it, is by doing a at the same time as it and uh, hmm. like it's a another weird thing you could do with it is like, like puff out your cheeks kind of like so send the air mainly through your bottom teeth so it'll like expand and it'll create a all right so once you got that one uh, I taught you the tss. So now you're gonna do that N words, like tss. And do the same thing as you did with the O word. And like, it's, it's really that easy. Now um, for the scratch, yeah, I'm gonna teach it to you. Uh, you saw all I, all I was doing was what? is wrong with my, all I was doing was just moving my bottom lip, like back and forth. So. <laughs> kind of, it kind of sounded horrible there, but yeah. Now, um, the. So this one is about tongue placement. It's completely different than the, than the tooth whistles. As, So, you know, to get higher pitches with your whistle, like, you could feel your tongue moving. If you, like, I don't, yeah. You could feel your tongue moving in your mouth to different positions. So, if you notice, your tongue uh, goes higher in your mouth, higher elevation. So, you want it to be at its highest elevation, but just enough so where there's still like a whistle coming out. So you don't want it at the top of your mouth. And you don't, of course, want it at the bottom of your mouth. You want that like middle part, but closer to the top. God, I, I'm making so, <laughs> doing so many redundancies right now. I'm so redundant, but um, so, 
Now, if you if you start getting the um, what you need to do is, which is just kind of a tongue bass like. The thing goes. Oh. <laughs> yeah, that was so cringy. I'm so sorry. Now, um, the crickets. Like you just take that like sort of weak tongue base, and you do a at the same time as you do it, and it'll make a. And what you do is just get your get your whistle in, or mouth into that position to make the whistle. And just start doing the tss. I don't know. Like a beat that I do with this. So. The click roll is perfect because it's like... I'm bad at the click roll. Don't listen to me on that. So, um, see again, my Discord tag is gonna be in the description if you need any more help. But other than that, like, that's the best I could do.